Since the arrival of these Major League Baseball players to the region, the impact of what would unfold began to take shape. This is the first time that I do something in, in uh, this part of the country. The city of Vineland, New Jersey was about to write a new chapter in their history, and they didn't even know it. Local coaches working together. You're ready to go to another level. That's what I'm talking about. Three, five, eight. Yeah! And on September 5th, 2015, Vineland's first Major League Baseball clinic hit a home run. Make the noise for Vineland, New Jersey! Shut up and sit down. More than 150 children participated. This clinic was open to everyone with no fee for admission. The celebrity lineup did not stop at baseball. A former WWE wrestler also decided to join. That made me millions of dollars. You say that last song. You're doing good. You're doing, that's perfect. You're doing better than, when, than what I expected. Where do you want to go? Okay, you check the morning. After the fun and games. They bring him in, they teach him about sports, but that's really just the hook to talk about character and life lessons and to make them better people. They don't really know it, it's just kind of happening, but it's a great attraction that, that you, you show them how to be winners both on and off the field. Time toward teams that transcend in this city. Though we are many, we are one. We have so much to give. We have so much talent here in our city. I believe that you have to, not to react to the circumstances, but to keep dreaming big. Because that's what I felt today. I felt that passion for the young people to let them know that there's people that care, there's people that love them, and I believe the future, it's fantastic, it's great for this city. I believe it! Keep doing this with the community, the kids, and people like to see that this more often, and bring players to the city. Uh, not really players, but people that are professional that can talk about, you know, teach about um, principles and, and, and value of, of things in life, which is the most important thing for me, you know, and uh, uh, keeping the family together. What's next, you may ask? The youth at, in, at risk needs events like this because why they get in trouble? Basically, they get in trouble because they have an identity crisis. They have that identity crisis, therefore they're going to look for, for something to do. If we do not do not find something to do for them, guess what? Somebody else we are. We are responsible to leading them, to leading them to the right place, to the promised land, if you will. And with an event like this, believe me, we are leading them to the promised land. I believe it. See us next year.